Hey, good people. Welcome back to Frizz and Fragrance. My name is Kara. I'm Ariel. And today is part two of our Zoologist perfume series. We are going through all, however many samples there are from Zoologist. We already did uh, our first series and now we're on number two. So today we're going to be doing the civet, the panda, the elephant, the sloth, and the koala. So if that sounds good to you, keep on watching this video. Let us know what you think. Come on down the fragrance rabbit hole with us because we smell good over here. Really good. So let's get started. How are you? We're doing great. We're having Sunday fun day. Yeah. So go ahead. I'm sorry. This is taking over. No, take it. Sunday fun day, and um, we're probably coming to the end of our limit. So we're gonna go ahead and get started. And the first scent we are gonna start with is the koala. Now I think all of these, all of these scents today did come from Lucky Scent. Let us know how you're doing in the comment section or the chat, whichever you prefer, because we'd love to hear it. And I'm gonna go ahead and get started with my long-winded description of the scent. Here we go. A cloak of <laughs> A cloak of rich green velvet sweeps across the Australian horizon. The majestic eucalypt forest flattering every curve of the undulating landscape. Tucked in the high crook of a tree, the koala is oblivious to the mesmerizing views. It would rather curl into a ball and sleep off a feast of oily eucalyptus. The aromatic leaves that sustain it. Despite their sleepy demeanor and friendly expression, koalas are territorial creatures. Males mark the soaring trunks with their musk, mm -hmm. establishing their dominance. All right, let's look at these notes. We have top notes of eucalyptus, menthol honey gumdrops, and mimosa. Mm -hmm. And in the mid, we have black tea, geranium, incense, spices, and vetiver. And for the base, we have musk, amber oak moss vanilla and sandalwood and i i, I jumped in here assuming that y'all saw part one so if you're not familiar with zoologists this is a niche fragrance house from toronto canada they love animals and they have come up with uh, fragrances that they feel embody all of the characteristics and nuances of the animal okay. so yeah oh i can smell it from here yeah me too hmm oh I feel like I smell eucalyptus. Cinnamon, eucalyptus. What is what is it? It says uh menthol honey. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, this is not I'm not no. Nah. So yeah, it's uh eucalyptus. It's like a menthol. I don't know about the honey gumdrops, but whatever. It's yeah. very spicy. Spicy medicinal. It, yes, it is a spicy medicinal fragrance. If I had to pick male or female, I would say male. If I had to pick, yeah. if I had to pick, it's very medicinal. So if you like those herbal medicinal scents, you might like something like this. If you've ever smelled, you it's could like licorice. It is. It does smell it. That is a perfect description. Yeah. All right. I got my fact, which means it's a no it's uh, a for me. <laughs> All right. About a fun fact about koalas. Koalas are not bears. They are marsupials. People always say, I don't understand. Mm -hmm. Koala bears is a term that originated with European settlers who were struck by the koala's resemblance to bears, particularly their round ears and big black nose. Okay. So. Okay. That's. Okay. Wow. I'm just going to move on. Limited thinking. Um, I, I, koala means no drink. Which I think is really uh, interesting. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, and they only eat eucalyptus leaves. They don't eat anything else. They're pretty cool. That's kind of sad, but you know they don't know what they don't know. You know, so they are nocturnal animals as well. So that's the koala. Um, I, yeah. So the thing about this is, um, it is medicinal. It smells like some type of ointment that you would use yes. for something, but. Like if you had to month. apply, yeah, but if you had to apply it to the animal, I would say this would fit like to the a koala, like the I eucalyptus don't really feel smell. Like I can make that determination. Okay, well, that's well, that's it. That's all we got. <laughs> um, that's koala, y'all. Uh, like I said, menthol. Think like halls, 
Yeah. Ointment, a uh, ointment with halls. Like the yellow, you know, the yellow like, halls, oh the yellow God, halls. I have congestion. Let me diffuse it. Mm -hmm. Licorice. Like you, well, eucalyptus is good yeah, for all totally. of that. So. Yeah, it's a no. And you know, eucalyptus is a, is poisonous. Yeah, it's just that they don't eat poisonous. They believe, yeah, yeah, which is crazy. All right, well, and they're so cute. Yeah. They're just the cutest things ever. Mm -hmm. oh, so are sloths. Let's do sloths. All right, let's do sloths. We're going to do sloths next. Oh, my God. Sloth babies are so cute. All right, let me go into the sloth description. I'm getting all the, 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 the long-winded descriptions from, obviously, the zoologist website. Did y'all see they're coming out with the um, king cobra? They're coming out with the king cobra scent. Yeah. I, I don't know when, but I'm getting it when it comes. I'm sure. The sample, not the yeah. bottle. Because bottles are like between 175 and 210. Travel the sizes are between like 40 and 60. gentlemen. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm going to make sure I show the... Um, They're cute. The, the sketches are really it's good. So I wonder who does the artwork. All right, let, let's go ahead with the description because you know. With its vibrant, sun-dappled hues, the dense rainforest beckons invitingly. Yet within its misty depths, countless dangers lurk, slinking across the forest floor. Dangling high among the treetops may seem a dubious de defense mm, against peril. But for leisurely sloths, the forest canopy offers a protective shroud. Safe in their leafy fortress, the sluggish creatures move so slowly, even moss overtakes them. Now that's, that's slow, if moss can grow on them. Yeah, they exactly. snooze in a cradle of moist green aromas, oblivious to the chaos below. Being a sloth might not be too bad. Let's look at these notes. The sloth is bad when people bother Ooh, this them. Is they, they, can, be, they be fine until people are bothering them. I, okay, I'm going to say that I'm going to like this. We have top notes of chamomile, which I like. Acai berry, lavender, and violet leaf. That sounds attractive. Yeah. We have heart notes of marigold, beeswax, anise, and jadamansi. Jasmine and cumin. And base notes of anything with hay. I like hay. Hay, frankincense, and myrrh from the Bible. Mushroom, oak moss, vanilla, and tonka. Frankincense and myrrh. You can't go wrong with frankincense and myrrh. I'm serious. This is licorice. Oh. Oh. It's like killing a wet a dream. That's a disappointment. Right? Yeah. Killing a wet dream. All right. Well. Mm -mm. Okay, this wasn't what I thought. Um, Fun fact. What, let's talk about what it smells like so people can know. Licorice. Damn. I mean, it's this, just, this is it's, giving it's me anything that I licorice. thought. Pepper, it doesn't give There's me There's nothing berry in here at all. I saw you berry. It might be that deeper smell. smell I, a little bit deeper. Kiga. No. So, mushroom. Okay, I'm not very certain. Um... It's on my skin at this point, and I would say it's like, it's another medicinal one, chamomile. Hey. What's Jadamansi? Let's look at and see what that is, because that could be something. Jadamansi. This isn't good. It's a flowering plant in the honeysuckle family. Oh. Yeah, I'm no. not getting anything honey, beeswaxy. No. Because I'm thinking with like vanilla and tonka bean and, and that honey. Honestly, like I feel cream. like acai and you know, all stuff is too sweet for a sloth. But anyway. Uh, Maybe they eat that. What do no, they eat? What they do eat they poisonous eat? Poisonous stuff. Okay, let me look it up. All right. Sloth, fun fact. Although they spend most of their times in trees, mm -hmm. sloths are surprisingly good swimmers. They can mm. swim through the water three times faster than they can move on the ground. Three-fingered sloths have two more neck vertebrae than any other mammal that allows them to turn their heads around 270 degrees mm. and effortly, effortlessly keep their nose above water when swimming. Oh. They're so cute. You can see that. Hold no, on, do it can't. like they can. Hold on. Excuse me. There it is. Look at them little cuties. No, they have a poisonous diet. They like twigs too. Oh. They can fall a hundred feet without injury. They look like it. They're designed to fall out of trees, yeah. so they do so on an average once a week. Oh mm -hmm. uh, yeah. 
This is a little woody, a little piney. Um, it, it's dry now. It's not bad. It just feels like I applied an ointment. Again. A, an ointment small, which I, that's yeah. not going to be. Yeah, it's not wearable. Yeah. I don't think this one or the koala are wearable scents. They're fun scents. That's but fun. I would. Well, what make you think that's fun? I'm saying I have fun smelling these and list, and, and oh, learning about the animal. Them, but yeah, yeah. Fun. No, the fun. fun. It's fun to learn. Yeah, like, oh, oh I, I put enjoy these no, this is and definitely... trying to, yeah, and trying to pick out the notes and such, things like that. But it's not something like I would be mad if I even bought a travel yeah, size like because I, I can't waste ever. money. Mm -mm. Yeah. The only one so far that I'm really it's considering rabbit. is the rabbit. <laughs> the rabbit one, if you look at the last video, the rabbit one, I want, I, I mean, I, I'm not going to get a whole bottle, but the travel size is really good. All right. So that's going to be for me. We're going to go. We're going to go next to the civet, which I don't even know what that is. So we're going to go to the civet next and I'm going to get up the, the situation, description situation. They're so cute. All right, yeah. All right, so the civet. Okay. As the sun sinks over the dense tropical forests, civets emerge warily from the thickets. Under the carpet of narcotic flower blossoms, a smattering of coffee berries peppers the ground. The moist air is heavy with mossy aromas that penetrate every crevice, but the musky scent of the civets dominates their marked territory, daring one to enter at one's own risk. Yes, so people like kill what civets. What are civets? Are they beaver? They look like <laughs> no, like, like a croc. raccoon. It's like a yeah, it's like a something. It looks like a. But they is it a rodent? Like a ferret. A like ferret. That. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But no, like the people want their scent glands, like the smell mm. of them. That's what they be killing them for. So let's look at these notes. How many of these braces give me a list? Like a. You know, we have top notes of bergamot, black pepper, lemon, orange, spices, and tarragon. In the heart, we have carnation, frangipani, heliotrope, hyacinth, linden blossom, tuberose, and elang. Why is it just one elang and not elang elang? I don't know. The base notes, we have, wait a minute, balsam, civet with an asterisk, coffee, incense, labdanum. This is a lot of notes, y'all. Musks, oak moss, resins, Russian leather, vanilla, vetiver, and woods. So there's no animal products used in these fragrances. I just feel like this is a lot of notes. I don't even know what to a think. A lot of notes to describe nothing. Um, leather and pepper. Oh, but this is nice though. I think this might be, might be a little bit nice. Oh, wait. I mean, I guess I'm having a hard time differentiating between these at so this point. So now we have to say, so now I'm like, is so, it about them smelling nice or am I going to wear them? No. I'm not wearing Okay. Now this is a, to me a masculine scent. Yes. But would you want um, your man as well like that? No. Like, it's not it's bad. It's, it's like. It still has that medicinal mm -hmm. feel to it. It's less medicinal. They're very earthy though. It's, this is spicy. It's less this reminds me of the I, spice market, like I the one that the you didn't no, like. I, no, oh. maybe a little bit, but and that definitely day. smelled. I smell the leather. I smell the leather. And I smell like the pepper. But I smell the floral. Like, I don't know which flower. Because there's carnation, frangipani, tuberose, hyacinth, ylang. I smell a flower. I don't know which one. So if we look at top notes, we're thinking pepper. There's a floral and there's a leather. I'm not really getting vanilla. I'm not getting coffee. I mean, it is woody. I'm not going to wear this. I don't think I would recommend it. No, it's another one that's medicinal. It's, it's medicinal. Yeah, they're medicinal. These are medicinal ones. Um, right. So far, we're at 3 and 0, and we have two more left. So next, let's go I'm into give my civet um, fact. Oh, me too. Sorry. Um, they are solitary, the except when breeding. Knowledge of these habits of civets is limited because they are not. Oh, that's what it looks like. And live, yeah, no. it's like a raccoon. It is, and leave a secretive, uh, yeah, live a secretive um, lifestyle. They are very shy and definitely kill the person. Look at that. Yeah, it's like a. So the thing about it is like. Some of the, the musks and maybe whatever the civet has, like musks came from animals at first, but 
The uh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. But, but but perfumes use synthetic ones, I think. At yes, least all the ones that I for use. The black market when they're selling. I'm not. Skins I'm, and I'm not at that. Tusks. I'm, not, I'm not there. No, that's sad. That's very sad. Yeah, I mean it's a whole market for that. Yeah, I don't. I'm not into that. Nope. Right. So that's okay. So it's the greasy dark yeah, the yellow gland. substance. That's when they shoot. It's like a gland. Uh huh. And it's called. They call it civet. That's what yes. they use. Um, it says sometimes they're milked for it. They're milked for it. Ew. Well, whatever they're doing. That's sad. That makes me sad. I mm, and I love animals. I really do. Like people just be doing shit. All right. Yeah, and they put it with an edible tumble. They mix it with like tiger. That's I, I can't. I, I don't. I was All not right, gonna. Re I, I'm gonna get my fact. I saw that. Oh, I thought you gave a fact. I didn't. I didn't All want right, that because on. they said what well, is a fun fact. And that's not a fun oh, you fact. Gonna be a fact right now. I thought you had it. No, I didn't, Ariel. I'm not prepared. Mostly, you were not. I got prepared fast. Other, uh, the, so they there's different types of civic, civets, but there's one that has a grasping tail, that's like a monkey. Did you know that? I did not. Mm -hmm. It comes in handy, I'm sure. I'm sure too. That's sad. That makes me. Is that a civet? So I wonder how many types there are. Cause they look like a raccoon, but like the tail is really it's long. It's like a raccoon rodent. I couldn't. If I saw one of these, I would be afraid. Okay, we have one more left, and that's gonna be the elephant. I'm gonna change I think it's my panda battery. Panda and then elephant. We've only done. It's panda. I thought then elephant. Did we do? Panda? Oh my god! Wait. It's just panda and elephant. Oh, we've only done two? No. I thought we had two more left. How many we do it? Koala oh, sauce, civet. Oh, we got two more. I'm sorry. So we're going to do the panda. Panda's next. Panda, panda. All right. I'm going to um change my battery. Oh, you should put that in there. I can't. Okay. This is copyright. All right. We'll be right back. Okay. All right, y'all. We back with a fresh battery. We're going into the panda. All right. I'm so excited. I'm so excited to smell this one. Oh, is it green? Oh, uh, I guess a little hint. Yeah, it's it's like a. They made it look real green of in the course, bottle. Photoshop. But no, the squid. Well, no, look, the squid look, is it blue. It might look more when it's full. It might look true. Green. Okay, because the squid is blue. Y'all see and that? And they have it against a black thing. So it's all right. Make it blue. Well, here we go. An encounter with a lovable panda is as unforgettable as the exotic forest it calls home. Like the majestic mosaic of dewy greens and enchanting aromas of florals and fruits, this creature exudes a vibrance as light as and playful as a Sichuan breeze. So we have top notes. Oh, wait a minute. This perfume is a new interpretation. Okay, so there used to be an old version, so this is probably the new version. We have top notes of apple, magnolia, mandarin, lily, osmanthus, ozone, and tea. In the heart, we have amber, bamboo, earthy notes, jasmine, orris, and patchouli. And in the bottom, we have civet, musk, sandalwood, and vanilla. These are all synthetic notes. I'm excited. <laughs> okay, out of all of these, it's probably the most I think I like one. this one the best so far. That doesn't mean that you will buy it though. No, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Hold on. Hold on. Take Here's this one. back. Tuck this back. One. Swipe it on your skin. There's something really sweet in here. Yeah, but I'm also getting. There's something really sweet. I know, but like a not a poop smell. I will say. Ah, it is. It is. Yeah. It is. It's like the bat. It's like the bat. We back to sweet shit. Damn. It is sweet shit in here. Sweet hay shit. Hey. <laughs> It's like the fucking panda enclosure. When they spray Oh my it god, it smells like sweet hay shit. Little bit of poop. That's unfortunate. Get that out. Oh, I love I like I it. Wanted though. To like I wanted to like it until I smelled the shit. Do they have that note in there, the shit note? Um, it it might be the civet. That comes from the glands, but no, amber, no, no, bamboo. We got to figure out what the common one for the shit is because that would. It might be the that. civet because civet that's from the glands. Not the one we're reading. Does it say no, civet? No, the civet was in. No, not in the bat. Civet wasn't in bat. It's like, oh my god, we're at the farm. We have company. Let's spray real quick. Let's spray over the shit. I like this one. So you want to smell, smell like sweet smell shit it on my hand? You smell like sweet shit. It's like a sweet farmer. 
No, I'm gonna say you smell like sweet shit. It's, it, no, but it doesn't smell like poop the whole time. It, does. it goes it's away. It doesn't smell like poop. It, it smells, smells like, like a sweet. It smells like you tried to cover the poop. And in moments, I'm not smelling smell. the poop anymore. I'm not. I'm honestly not. Hold on. Did I read the right? I smell. Hold poop. on. Oh, I had to make sure I read the right one. Well, you wear it. That. Oh my I'm god. Not, it, smell my, it smells like the poop. No, it smells like sweet bamboo and sweet hay. No, no with shit mixed in it. Because oh, you I put like hay this one. in the enclosure to keep it fresh over the shit. Okay, Ariel. I'm just saying, don't try It's to like an apple hay. Okay, you're being real nice. No, I'm, I'm serious. Like I'm feeling like all I love smell. hay notes. I don't know what it is. Yes, do you like shit notes? No. Okay. Well, I don't know. All right. <laughs> let's talk about the pandas. Pandas body shape all contributes to their cum clumsiness. Oh, I, I, I need to know because, because it's ridiculous. They have round bodies and short limbs, making them they're ridiculous. To fall no, out and balance. And they roll. put themselves in pre precarious but they circumstances say, yes, they for, so but, they can fall. But listen, let me finish. Don't. Scientists have observed the rolling that rolling is sometimes the pandas genuinely seem to enjoy. Just like cats love clawing and dogs like sniffing things. Like, it's their thing. To fall? Rolling. All that rolling. that clumsy They do rolling. too much. They're so cute. And they're funny as shit. I love them. But well, I don't want to smell like panda shit. So. I like this. Go on in. Mm, I like it. It says they eat about 12 hours a day. I can see that. Yeah. And then, I can still mm, smell. And they have pseudo thumbs. Mm. So with no bone in it? I don't know. What's a pseudo thumb? It's like a fake thumb, but what probably makes a thumb is a bone is in it. Does it not have What a is a pseudo thumb? It's how I'd be like a nut. It's a modified wrist bone or bony digit that some animals use for grasping. So mm -hmm. giant pandas, you, oh, red pandas use their pseudo thumb. That's what it looks like. Oh. What is that? Is that a pseudo? So we, we're trying to look up a picture of a pseudo thumb. It's like a little thing. Is like that a, a pseudo thumb? Because I can post this, put this in the thing. Girl, I guess. What? Yeah, it says that, giant panda. But it doesn't say pseudo thumb. Girl, I don't Is know. that a pseudo thumb? A, if they, I mean, that looks like a real thumb. I don't know. Something about it is different, though. Okay. okay. Well, whatever. Um, okay. Because I still, though I can smell other stuff, I like I it. Smell under I, I'm not going to buy it, but it's very fresh. It's something I would like to wear for gardening and doing yard work. Because you usually have manure. No, not in my yard. No, but I'm just saying manure. I really like it. It's like an apple hay. It's like a hay apple. Hay. And then you smell some apple. And then you smell shit. I don't smell that anymore. I smelled it at first, but I really, it's gone. Smell it on me. At no point do I smell want it to ever me. smell shit. No, I smell it. Mm, I hate it. I hate it all. <laughs> I think this is the best one that I've be smelled today. No, it might be the best one, but it's not. A good so one. sad. But well, we're gonna try the elephant, it's and the I, I have Eagles. I have no hope for the elephant. I have no no, no hope whatsoever no, at this I love point. Some elephants. Hmm. Me too. So let's go ahead into. Oh, show them your thing, because people always say they like your tattoos. Oh, oh. you can't really. See Never mind. I gotta stand up. <laughs> I want a flamingo. And an yeah, owl, a snow, an owl. Oh, we should, we should get the owl. Owls. We're supposed yes. to get the owl. Me and Ariel are supposed to get the no, owl. No, I didn't agree to that, but I would get an owl, but, you know. We didn't agree. I thought we would say the owl. You said, hey, we should, you said, we hey, should we get should the get owls. owls. I didn't say, yes, we should get silly owls. I don't mind. I like animals. So I, I thought you said owl. yes. Well, I'll get one. No. No, I don't like, force I like anybody for anything permanent. No, I like animals, so I like to get all kinds yeah, of Yeah, but I wouldn't want, if somebody was like, hey, get a I raccoon. Never thought, I never thought about I'm, an I'm owl. I'm going to be like, no, I'm good. I never thought about an owl, but I don't say no to an owl. Or I a flamingo. Like, I love get flamingo. Cute, Flamingos like a little, are pretty. Like a little twinsy thing. Yeah, like I want an owl. They're so, owls are so nice. They're just so beautiful. They're all right. Nice. They're very beautiful. They're mm -hmm. so beautiful. All owls. All owls are beautiful. All right. We're, we're not talking about that. We'll do Snowy Owl for the next one. Oh, that's a good one. You know, Get it is this right? I'm into the panda. All right. But we're on, on the um, elephant. Now, let me let you know that this won an award for the Arts and Olfaction Awards in 2018 Independent Category Finalist. So I have hope. Well, I don't know what that means. It says old faction, which means old smell. factory. So that's nose. Yes, which means doesn't mean it's gonna smell great. It might just stimulate your nose in some kind of way. Okay, here we go. 
Huge tweet. Huge trees quake. <laughs> Uh, as soon as I heard tweet, I was like, I don't know. Ah! <laughs> Huge trees quake at their approach. Vulnerable leaves shuddering as the ground rumbles under heavy footsteps. They come with appetites as massive as their lumbering bodies. Nothing is spared from their bottomless hunger. Trees stripped bare, roots upturned. Even the tiniest blooms cannot escape their grasp. When the behemoths move, the behemoths move on. Oh, they, the behemoths. Or is it behemoths? I think it's behemoths. Yeah, I said behemoths. Behemoths. <laughs> I'm going to look it up. <laughs> move on. They leave behind a path of destruction. Yet what often looks like carnage is actually a renaissance. The elephants fulfill a vital role, purging the delicate ecosystem, allowing new life to flourish. Hold on. We got Elephants gotta, are amazing. Be... Was it be? And they ain't taking no more shit. And that's good. In the safaris, anywhere. And that's a good thing. It I'm is. Asleep. And that's so good. Behemoth. I said behemoth. 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 Okay. So behemoth. that's fine. Um. What the what are what are the notes? Let me go back. The notes are. Hmm. Top notes are tree leaves, I smell it from here. Darjeeling, Darjeeling tea. Oh my God. Ooh, it smells I was thinking like about tea, tea ball. Magnolia. <laughs> in the heart, we have cocoa, coconut milk, incense, jasmine, woody notes, and in the base, we have amber, musks, patchouli, and sandalwood. I'm interested. That's probably the best smell. I don't. I mean, I'm not like. I'm into the panda. I really am. I really am into it. Mm -hmm. Oops. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> okay. I smell the smells. I, I <clears throat> smell the smells. That I feel like that one. Wow, I'm accurate. surprised. Yeah. With um, all the smells. Like I smell. This like one's creamy. Trees, coconut, coconut. All that stuff is in there. It's a creamy one, right? Sandalwood. Well, it feels creamy to me. Coconut. Coconut milk isn't creamy. Okay. Well, either way. Oh, I kind of like the elephant. It's the better. It's the best one of them all. Right. I smell the chocolate. Right. You don't the smell the side. chocolate? The cocoa? Maybe a little bit deeper. Mm -hmm. No. Smell them. Yeah, I wouldn't wear this, but it's probably... Do you smell a sneeze in there? No, I do not. I do not smell a sneeze this time. So sorry. That was the B. I get a little sneezy little thing going. But it's not my full sneeze. This one looks like chocolate. Like... I like if it was a green chocolate. Yes. A green chocolate. Is there such thing? Like the natural, like the green kind. Maybe if you, I don't know if there's a, ever a green kind of chocolate, like the natural one. No, I, think I, I don't either. Like, I don't know. But no. that's what it smells like. Yeah, it smells like a chocolate tree, leaf. I think, like if it was a I leaf think, version. I think tree leaves and cocoa is correct. <laughs> mm -hmm. A little bit of like sandalwood or some incense musky, like... Yeah. I, I just think with these scents, like I like them for the embodiment of the animal, but I don't know if I like them for a scent that a person would wear. No, I enjoy I like smelling the these. For except any, the rabbit, for anything. Rabbit was carrot cake. That was all me. Hey, that was the good. That was the good candle scent for me. But this is probably the better. The harvest the mouse was another one. The harvest mouse. So in the last one, I would say my standouts were the rabbit and the harvest mouse. We like those. Yeah. I mean, you kind of like the harvest mouse, the rabbit you like, but I think both of them, you like more for a candle. I will wear the rabbit. I will wear the harvest mouse. None of the other ones in this uh, oh, yeah. segment. I wouldn't wear any of them. The elephant is the better smelling of the one, but I would not wear anything. The elephant is good. Like, if I keep smelling it. But I wouldn't wear it. Like, on. Yeah, I don't want to wear it. I don't know. I kind of like the, the elephant and the, the, what was the other one I like? The panda? Mm-hmm. Out of out of the five this time, the elephant and the panda, those were the ones for me. I'm, I'm really surprised. Mm. All right. Let me give you my fact about the daggone elephant. This Ooh, yes. the panda. The oh, the panda. elephant. The elephant. You're right. You're right. Um, elephants can recognize their family members after decades of separation. Mm. 
After being shown bones, tusks from deceased elephants, elephants reacted strongest to those members of their herd. Wow. Um, this suggests That's amazing. they recognized and remembered family members even after years after they passed, had already passed. Damn. Elephants don't be playing. Let me some elephants. So there's three mm-hmm. types of elephants. Why did I think there were only two? Let me let me go to this. There's just three types. Two or three types of elephants. Okay, so we have the African bush elephant, the African forest elephant, and the Asian elephant. So there's two African types of elephants. So I only thought there were two types. I thought it was the African and the Asian. So yeah. the African forest elephant is smaller than the African bush elephant, but comparable to the size of the Asian forest elephant. Okay. And I believe you can tell the difference in all the elephants by their ears, mm-hmm. the, the shape of their ears. So, oh, elephants are amazing. I don't think I would wear this one. I think out of all of them, I really like the panda. There's like, I really love hay smells, like that bamboo smell, that hay. There's a smell that I want from Navitus called Kind Intentions that has a hay smell, even though there's no hay note. And it just reminds me of that. Every time I smell that, I think about Kind Intentions. So I like smells like that, like that sweet hay. I can't remember where it was. Oh my. It was this one. No, that's the panda. That's the elephant. Oh, that's what I thought you were talking Yeah, about. this one is like a a green choc- chocolate, but it's not something that I think I would like. But I can see why this one may have won the award. This is really different. Um, I yeah, think really unique. Really that unique. it just was the best one out of them all. Hmm. Okay. Well, guys, um, let us know if any of these speak to you. It's it's, it's tough with these I'm, because um, I don't think I've ever smelled smells like these. They're definitely but, unique smells. But I will say the first three that we did, the civet, the koala, and the sloth were very medicinal licorice smells. And I don't feel like there was much difference to how they smell. It's like menthol, yeah. ointment. Like you got a cut and you need to put something on it that's going to really yeah. a salve. You need to put on like a skin salve. Isn't that what they tried to put on Cal Drogo? Yes, like a salve on Cal, Cal Drogo and it, didn't, and it didn't save him. No, but she also did that witch stuff. She her. did. If you're a Game of Thrones fan, you know what we're talking about. Mm. All right, y'all. Well, stay tuned. There's going to be a part three, four, five, six. There's going to be a lot of parts to this one. We got five more cents coming very, very soon. So we want to say thank you. Uh, let us know which ones you think you would like. Probably it might not be any, but let us know which ones you think you would like. And we're going to get on out of here. Thank you so much for taking out some of your time and hanging out with us for another one today. Uh, we hope this was therapy for you. It always is for us. And until I, we see you again, make sure you're being gentle with yourself. Talk to yourself nice. Stay safe. We'll see y'all in the next one. Say bye. 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 bye.